We all want to build brands where we are our own experts and influencers, and we try to do that. But it's always important to have others that are validating right. what we do as a business, what we're saying, our point of view, and we get rub off on that. Our brand and their expertise gets shared onto ours. And that's very similar to what you're talking about right here, right? That's right. And it's a it's a win win when one party wins the other party wins and so you can really multiply uh, the value uh, that your company brings by partnering with other other companies or with some of these you know influencers in the B two B world. Well, maybe give us some examples because sure. we can all understand that you know if I'm selling purses and Kim Kardashian is photographed with my purse, that's going to be pretty pretty beneficial to my company, sure. right? But mm -hmm. if you could give us maybe kind of a more of a of a core B two B you know, client that you have in maybe a kind of a case study or so on what they did with mm -hmm. the influencer partner marketing. Sure. Um, so a good example of that would be HubSpot. Um, everyone knows who HubSpot is. They are definitely the leader uh, in inbound marketing, um, but they were looking to us to grow their paid subscriber base. So they joined as a customer and they went into our marketplace and they were able to see all different types of partners that would be relevant for them. We also have an AI component that gives recommendations based on who they are, what we think their partner mix would look like and, and who those recommended partners are. Uh, but HubSpot already knew. They already had an idea in their mind. They knew that they needed to reach their influencers. And so those, those people were the SaaS reviewers who provide like in-depth reviews of business solutions. So you find a lot of that on YouTube and LinkedIn. Just content creators in general who share business knowledge through blogs, videos, podcasts. Um, so Steve, you would be one of their partners, I think. Uh, digital, digital educators. So these are people who provide online courses or other informative material for business professionals. And then they were looking for other businesses that would potentially have a product integration with their business. Um, so they found these partners. And as a result of this, so these partners started driving traffic to HubSpot's, uh, whatever the call to action was, which was paid subscribers. So uh, they got a 50% lift uh, just from working with these types of partners in their affiliate. Five zero, did you just say? Five zero. And what we see on average is companies that work uh, on our platform that have a mature partnership program, they're seeing up to 28% of their revenue, company revenue, not marketing sourced revenue, com total company revenue coming from this channel which is more than paid search. It's more than display and paid search together. Um, this is the, the best performing channel for those businesses. And you actually did a study with Forrester, right? That's right. That's right. And what were the, what were the results of that study? It was, it was the 28% and, and companies were growing. It's a growing channel. It was growing 50% year over year for a lot of companies. Um, the good thing about working in partnerships that we haven't talked about is that you can find partners at all different stages of the funnel. So it can be a full funnel strategy. It's not just bottom of funnel, okay, coupon or discount. Um, it introduces new partnerships, introduce new products. Um, they, they, they take the you know, audience from awareness all the way down to conversion in a lot of cases. So you want different types of partners who can reach different parts of the funnel. And you do that through trial and error and working with a platform who has done it several times. So around a quarter of your revenue, right, could be coming from these kind of partner relationships That's right. where there's very low risk. Tell me a little bit as a CMO, how does that affect the relationship with your CFO? Oh, they, they love it. So this will make you best friends with your CFO. Um, you can tell him, oh, you don't have to worry. I know for a fact I will provide a return on investment on this investment because I'm only paying once, once an action has been completed. Um, and so those commission rates could be anything from a percent of the, the product cost, or it could be a flat rate of 10%, 20%, or maybe you're looking for partners that can send in new customers only. And, and so you're paying them only on new customers, not returning customers. So there's a lot of different ways to structure it to meet your business objectives. 